Photofusion's always been a powerful tool, but I have to say that in the current year we've really taken it to a different level with the text. We now have uh, a, an extremely powerful uh, text editor uh, which offers what's called in-place editing. This allows you to click and then type directly to fix mistakes the way you just saw me do. Uh, that works uh, regardless of whether you've rotated or resized the text. You can um, change it to say whatever you like and type upside down if you want to. It's okay. Um, it's all resizable and working like this. Um, the flexibility that you've got is amazing. On the basic tab here, you'll see that I've got control over, for starters, the, um, the font. So if I want the top line to all be in Arial, um, just some font, let's use uh, Arahone. And this one, I would like to be italic. And just these words here, I would like to be bold. It just works. And if you uh, resize it, it will keep the choices that you made. The font uh, effect that I'm fond of is to hold the Alt key down and tap the left and right um, uh, arrow keys. This allows you to uh, nudge what's called inter-character spacing, like this. You can adjust the interline spacing. I'll just select across a line break and then adjust it like this. And I'll do the same thing here. Uh, control over um, left and right justification. I've said um, left, right, center, and so on. The, um, the things that you're used to, including um, the thickness of edges, so I'll, I'll make the edge this color, let's say. Um, so now I've got a thick um, border around everything, and I can, of course, change the color of the interior to uh, anything else, like that. A lot more controls, though. Um, if I want to play with the effects, I can say uh, fill it with a blur, let's say. So there's a horizontal blur on the fill of the text. Uh, you can do the same thing with the edge. Um, an opaque shadow, for example. That's a neat effect. What else? Under advanced, you'll see we've got control over um, skew. Let's just take the uh, word awesome and skew it, more or less. Let's play with the offset, which is the uh, offset against the baseline, or the rotation. So now I'm rotating the characters in place. The area type, well, that's a really interesting one. I'm going to um, delete this and start over. This time around, I'm going to say lock the size so that whatever size I choose is applied to everything. And I'm going to take a large piece of text, and I'm just copying something out of the Wall Street Journal, and I'll paste it in, and I'll say I want everything to be um, smaller. Like that. The uh, advanced uh, allows you to choose an area type. So for example, I'll choose a um, diamond. And you'll see that as I resize this, it's making it all fit um, within a, a diamond. And I can continue to adjust everything about it, the font size, and so on. Um, just like that. Pick it up and make it part of a layout. Truly amazing text tools this year. Lots of power.